What's going on guys? Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video and well, here we go. Ricky's Arcade One Up is officially complete. And we got two wireless SNES controllers on this one. This is it guys, we got another RK one up in the books. This one's going out to Ricky. Ricky found me on Letgo. Letgo is an app like Craigslist, it's a modern day Craigslist. He found me on Letgo, shot me a message, and he requested an RK one up cabinet. And well, this isn't just any ordinary RK one up cabinet. Ricky is the first one and really the only one out there right now that is getting two wireless SNES controllers to make his RK one up a four player two control panel arcade sticks and two wireless SNES controllers. So again, keep in mind, my Pi image is a four player image. So the arcade games like The Simpsons, Sunset Riders, WrestleFest, those are all set to four player arcades. So you do need four controllers to play those games. So there you have it. We have two arcade sticks and again, two wireless SNES controllers. SNES controller again is wireless. It does have a port, you charge it. Um, for this, unfortunately, there is no port or wire coming out of the cabinet. So I do give the customers the actual boxes that I got these from Amazon and inside of these they do have the uh, they do have the wire to charge up the controller. It's pretty standard like wire controller, I don't know, whatever input it is for the wire. It's pretty standard, but let's take a closer look at the arcade. Obviously again, we made a promo video, so check out the promo video for Ricky's arcade. So we're gonna talk behind the camera on this one. Right now we're in the arcade menu. And basically again, we have this set up to after one minute of no playing or no interfering, the menu will go into a track mode. This right now is because we are in the arcade um, mode, we're in the arcade wheel, it's showing all the arcade games. So it's not gonna show like a Mario Kart game. It's gonna go through 2000 videos. It's great, I love this feature. You could literally walk away, you could literally leave these machines on overnight and it's just a track mode. Like somebody's gonna walk past this, they're like, whoa, what game is this? I wanna play it. Also with these uh, track modes, I learned so many games that I never even heard of. And they're actually pretty cool, awesome games. Um, for example, there's a game called Rolling Thunder. I never heard of this game, but goddamn, that's a good game. Look at this, see, Ninja Commando. Never seen it, it looks like a GI, no, not, it doesn't look like GI Joe. Is it, does it look like GI Joe? Anyway, look at this, I, I wanna play this. I don't even know what this is. Some ninja is taking on gunfire. I wanna play this. That is a must, I'm playing this. I mean, again, games, brute force. I, you got 2200 RK games. I mean, alone, if you were to play all these games, this is like years worth of games and it's awesome stuff. Um, like I said, you guys can see my earlier videos. I did a Simpsons, how, uh, how many quarters? I used to do a, a recording of how many quarters. I would play the Simpsons alone. I played that for like, I think it was like an hour and a half it took me. I spent 10 bucks in quarters alone just to beat the Simpsons. So I'm gonna probably try to make more of that, but I'm so busy making arcades, so we don't have time for that. But it's just so much fun playing all these things. Again, basically you're in a track mode now, so just to wake it up, you do move a controller. Controller one, joystick one, is the only one that can navigate the menus. Um, we could load up some Street Fighter. We could do, I'm gonna load up actually The Simpsons. I actually, I always do The Simpsons. I don't know why, I love the game. Uh, you could do Sunset Riders. I could do WrestleFest, but just to show you the four player mod on this, I always like to do The Simpsons. You will always see it. It is a classic and honestly, that's the most popular game, especially with four players. Again, real PCB boots, this always happens. So you do let this rock as if you had a real arcade, this would always happen. It's gonna boot up. This does also have the stereo mod to it. 
Microphone is pointing to me, not to the arcade, so you kind of get the hint of how loud it is. Basically, right now, the wireless controllers... Let me lower it. <laughs> basically, right now, the wireless controllers are off. So basically, to wake, to wake them up, you just press the start button, and you get the LED. This is controller 4. So this is Lisa. Again, right now, this isn't going to work. If I press the start button, it lights up. We got Bart. We got Marge. And we got Homer. We're going to press start on all these just to show you it. Let's pump up the volume again. Again. Speaker mod, speaker mod, wireless controllers, no wires. You could literally, I'm going to take this right now. Check this out. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, what, maybe six feet away? And I am controlling Lisa. Let me zoom in. Lisa's getting beat up. I'm, the, I'm Lisa. I'm getting beat up. Help me, help me. There we go. I'm literally controlling Lisa. Pretty cool, Um, you know, awesome to be wireless and be able to walk away again all mods we always have the led buttons hooked up to the led strip this does have led strips around it going along the top of it and obviously on the back of it this way it does seep through um we do have our admins so we have our shift load save state so right now i could load a previous game i was playing there you go that's my load i could exit if i want i could save if i want again admin buttons uh check it out brand new inserts like my little mario coin uh basically i did get uh, new stickers so that's an insert that is inside the button so i could spin this and now it won't move previously i had paper ones i used to cut paper but they would spin these now with an actual sticker there's my load i cannot spin this and i love it Real quick again, the biggest thing that I always trust to people is that I do test these things out. You got to test these things out. You know, every SD image is different. You must sit down, take the time, and you have to test these things out. Right now, we're going to load up N64 Mario Kart. Just to make sure that our four players always work. Look at that. <laughs> again, joysticks are always players one and two. I got my enters. We're gonna make sure our joysticks are on. So we always load up. You have to always test. I can't stress it enough. You have to test each joy. Oops, I pressed the back button. <laughs> you gotta test each, each button. Like you have to test each controller. No, I wanna go back. Yes, yeah, so we wanna make sure each joystick works. Because again, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. The only way to test it is to load up a four player game. I pressed the back button by accident. Doing it live. And I'm gonna show you guys something that I discovered. And this is something for all the people that have one of these arcades or even, you know, not my arcade, but an arcade. But again, you could hear the stutter on the N64. We just wanna make sure, see my peach, we're good. Sometimes your your buttons will react, but your joysticks won't. To Toad is good. Let's see, Mario. Mario is good, and Luigi is good. So this is perfect. On this specific one for Ricky, it looks like exit. Oh no, this is back to normal. So this is here, shift and exit. Let me show you guys something real quick. Again, this goes for anybody with an N64 emulator. Um, if you do have choppy gameplay, there's actually different emulators. So if you launch a game, if you launch a game and then it says here, press A to get the configuration screen. Once you get into the configuration screen, there's actually, like you could select the default emulator mindset to move in. But basically you could select these. And what I notice is that on some emulators, my player three, player four didn't work. Um, basically like RetroArch was being ignored on this emulator. So keep that in mind. If you do want to, you know, sometimes these diff emulators run a game better, but when you do change it, the three, the player three and four don't react now. Like the, the analog stick is looking for an analog stick. So just keep that in mind for anybody that has one of my arcades, you could always load up any N64 game and then press the A button real quick and you'll get this screen. This is the only thing I really suggest that you change. You could play around with the video mode which as you can see there's a lot of video modes i wouldn't suggest touching that because it might mess up and that's really it uh don't edit this um 
RetroArch config. Um, do not edit that, but basically now you can launch it. And now N64 will work. Some emulators run better than others, as you can see like this, see here? It like enlarged the screen. Just something to think to keep in mind, especially for the N64. But this right here, four player mod, this is complete. Running Mario Kart, you can't go wrong with that. Ricky, buddy, come pick this thing up. I'm gonna see you tomorrow, man. Please come pick this thing up, I'm done. <laughs> Later, guys.